Hello everyone, welcome to WebSense Pro, welcome to another tutorial video. In this video, I'll show you guys how you can display specific section on specific language. So for example, if you have a section where there's an image with the Spanish text over it, you can display that section only in Spanish language. And similarly, if you have an English image where the text within the image is in English, you can display that whole section only in English language. So I created a video uh, on how you can translate your Shopify store using a free Shopify app. And I got a lot of comments from you guys on how you can display specific section on specific language. So this is another demanded tutorial from you guys, which I am showing you guys how you can do that. It's very simple. All you have to do is just add an if condition, add a logical if condition to display that section and play with a little CSS code. And I'm going to show you step by step process on how you can do that. So if you want to learn, stick to the video and do not forget to subscribe the channel, right? Because that will help me create more valuable content for you guys. So without further ado, let's get into the screen. Okay guys, so that's my store. That's my development store. And uh, if I scroll down to the bottom, you can see that I have this section showing up where the text within the image is in Spanish language, right? I'm on currently in the Spanish version of my development store. And now when I switch it to English version from my language selector on the top, you can see that I am now seeing the English version of image and the English version of the section. And you can do that very easily after watching this video completely. So make sure to watch the complete video. Also, I have created multiple other tutorials. As you can see here, we have a background image on the section. I've created a tutorial for this. You will find the link in the description and you can see a percent discount showing up on the product, which shows what is the percentage of the discount offered in this product. I have created a video for this as well. Link in the description and one of the most demanding one is autoplay video. So if you want to add a slide type section on your homepage with the video automatically playing when someone lands on your homepage, there's a video for that as well. Check out the link in the description. Okay, we are now implementing the section to display on specific language. And what I'm going to do, I'll go to the back end of my development store. And click on online store. Uh, and here, uh, the theme which I have activated already have a lot of customization. So what I'm going to do, I'll install, I'll add a fresh tone theme, which is uh, as of now 13.0.1. So click on add button here. And our latest version of Dawn theme is installing now. While it's stalling, guys, there is a promotion going on. If you want to set up your store with just $1 per month, you can sign up via link in the description below to avail this offer. By signing up through that link, you will be able to sign up for just $1 per month. Normal pricing of the Shopify is more than $25. I guess it's $29. So make sure to sign up that link and avail this offer. Okay, our Dawn theme has been installed. I'm going to publish it. So click on this publish button and then publish button again. And now let's preview this first. Like close the old tab. And here's the default Dawn theme. Now I'm going to add a section image with text. Let's go to our customize. Okay, on the home page, I'm going to add an image text with image section. So here's an image with text section. And for this, I'm going to uh, add an English version of the image. So just click on image with text, select image. And here I have the English version and the Spanish version of the image already uploaded. So I'm going to select the English version for this one. Right, and uh, it's safe. Now duplicate the same section and just replace that image with the Spanish version. So click on these three small dots and then click on duplicate. Here we have another English version image showing up. Now I'm just going to replace that image with the Spanish version. Remove image, add the Spanish version. 
click on done and hit save. Now we have this two section showing up. If I go to the home page and hit refresh, you can see we have these two section showing up. One is the for the English version and one is for the Spanish version. Now for this section where we have image showing up in Spanish text, right? We will hide the section when someone is navigating the English version. How we can do that? So first let's click on the right mouse button and click on inspect and find the section ID for this section, which we have selected for the Spanish version. So hover over this section from Chrome developer tools by clicking on this small pointer here. And once you do that, you have this div and above that div, you have the section ID showing up. So that's the section ID. And we want to hide the section ID when someone is navigating on the English version of the website of the store, right? So how we can do that? Let's go to our code editor. So from themes, click on these three small dots and then click on edit code. Before editing the code, make sure to have a duplicate of your theme in case you are not tech savvy or you don't have any experience with the Shopify coding. Okay. In our code editor, click on theme.liquid and find for style tag. So here's the style starting from, right? And now I'm going to add an if condition. If shop dot locale equals to en, that's the ISO code for English version. Now, and our if condition. And if now I will hide our Spanish version of the section when language is in English, when our store language is English. And I'm going to copy this Shopify section ID from here, from my, from our Chrome developer tools, paste it here, add in hash because in CSS, we will need to add in hash. And now I'm going to add display none. So what this code is doing is that it is checking if someone is uh, visiting the English version and it's basically hiding the Spanish version of our section, which we created, right? I'll click save. And now let's test if this section with the Spanish image is showing up when someone navigates the English version. So let's click refresh. And uh, nope. Now you can see that uh, we have only one section showing up. We created two sections with one with the English version uh, of image and one with the Spanish version of the image and the Spanish version of the image is not showing up. But now when I click on the Spanish language, when I switch it to Spanish and scroll down, you can see we have still these two sections showing up. Now in the Spanish version, I will need to hide the English version of the section and how we can do that. Again, I'm going to find the section ID by clicking on right mouse click and find the section ID. So that's the section ID. Yep. So that's our section ID. Just copy this section ID, go back to our code editor. And again, add in another if condition. And this time we will see if someone is visiting the Spanish version and ES is the code for Spanish. So now let's add in and if to end our if condition. And now I'm going to paste the section ID, which we copied, add the hash because uh, in CSS, we have to identify ID as hash. And now I'm going to add display none. English version will be hidden, will be display none if someone is visiting the Spanish version. Now click save and see if it works. And I'll go back and hit refresh. And we are on the Spanish version. And you can see that the only section which is showing up has 
image with the Spanish text over it, meaning the English version of that section is not showing up. Let's test it again by going navigating to the English version. And as you can see, we have an English version only English version of image showing up. All right. So that's it for the video, guys. I'll add in the link in the description. If you guys want to copy the if condition, you can simply copy that from the blog post. And if you want me to create another tutorial on how you can do the similar stuff with the product page. So if you if, if your product page have images with the different languages. So if you want to display English version of images on your product page only in English version and whatever other language which you have. So you want to basically display image specific language on your product page. Let me know in the comment below so I can create that tutorial for you. Until next video, have a great day.